purpose of this, <coughs> of this meeting is to introduce uh, uh, Erasmus activities and uh, for the reason that for the first time, Avicenna got to take part in it and we intend to continue to take part in further Erasmus activities. <coughs> so the uh, Erasmus program as it is, um, is, is a brainchild of the European Union, uh, more closely that of the European Commission. They uh, are funding these programs and these programs they range um, the, they, they have a range of seven years. We have, we have, we have compiled the, um, the grant application and we were lucky to be <coughs> selected as one of the 160 uh, high schools in Hungary because only 31 high schools were selected and we were one of those. So we got the chance to travel and what we had to do for it is to write a project. And the project, I will show you the title later, <clears throat> it, is, it is about promoting, uh, promoting us, promoting Avicenna abroad, and also attracting interest uh, on the part of our future partners, <clears throat> future partners of, uh, of, of other European um, high schools. Thanks God, we won it, and this is the title of the winning project. Um, and this is the course I took part in cultural heritage education and storytelling. And in the first day, on the first day, the 10 different schools of these 26 nationalities, they introduced their city they came from, their country, their city, and most importantly, their institutions. So obviously I took the chance, I think I, think I was um, number four or number five um, when I introduced Avicenna. So yes, as I said, I was introducing on the whiteboard, large whiteboard Budapest in, uh, in mini video, and then, and then I was talking uh, about the educational activities um, and our staff and the specifics uh, of, of, of Avicenna. Tuesday, from Tuesday to Friday, um, the teacher, uh, Alessandro, taught us about visual education, the European skills agenda, digital education and the flipped classroom approach. Let me talk about the last one a bit, because that's the one that um, uh, I found the, one of the most intriguing to think about. So the flipped classroom approach is actually, as it says in the, in the expression, um, it, it, it turns the regular traditional teaching methods on its back. Because we are used to teach students um, by the content, and we send them home, Work, work over it, um, come back, and then we assess you, and then we, we um, follow, teaching, follow the teaching of you, following certain educational materials. Now, the flip classroom means that uh, the students, they come in for the practical part only. So they are given instructions to go home, and they have to do their work at home. They are given the content of the material on which they have to work back at home. They have to process it. They will, give, they will, they will get um, video discussions or, or YouTube videos or um, written or digital material to work over at home. And when they come back at the classroom setting, the teacher um, will use their knowledge they've acquired at home. So it's like self-learning for them and not the teacher is the, is, is the boss in a way, as it is in the regular, normal, traditional setting, but it is more about the student to be uh, more autonomous, to be able to process information, and the teacher is a guide. This is another picture of, uh, of, of the classroom where we were given tasks, and we had to sit in fours or fives to work out certain, certain tasks that had to be presented uh, on the last day. And, um, and this, is, this is the result, which was definitely, by the way, um, already um, counted on. So everyone got the certificate as a conclusion uh, on the last day. And we were taken photos and also group photos. Unfortunately, I did not get the group photo. So this was about the more academic part of it. And then I will look forward to your questions, but before, 
before uh, we go, let me just show you a uh, few beauties of this, of, of this city.